in order to increase the sales price of a product was decreased by 20% total revenue increased by 28% what is the percentage increase in the number of units sold uh increase in sales price of the product was decreased so the first thing which we need to understand that price into quantity is nothing but revenue okay price into quantity is revenue okay whenever you have this format of a to b equal to c you can apply the successive increment or successive change formula out here okay which means if the percentage change in price is a percent percentage change in quantity b percent the percentage change in revenue should be a plus b plus ab by 100 okay out here to be fair price of so that was increased by 20 got decreased by 20% so this is minus 20% okay revenue increased by 28% this becomes plus 28% what happened to this so if you apply this formula to get the answer this is what we are doing the question okay another simple method for this is assume that the price and quantity are certain numbers and what the revenue happens to be okay so let me assume that the price is 10 or uh, or since it is okay and the quantity is 10 so when the price was 10 rupees 10 10 pieces were sold and hence the revenue was nothing but 100 as per the question the price decreased by 20% so price became 8 the new quantity i do not know so let me retain it as b so 8 into b should be equal to 128 okay so what is the new value of b new value of b will be equal to 128 upon 8 which is equal to 16 so what is the increase earlier the value of the quantity was 10 Now it is 16, so it is an increase of 60 percent. So it is an increase of 60 percent. So there is a second way of doing this question. So when I am looking at these questions, the two methods that we have in front of us right now are one: assume the values to be 10 and 10 of the price and quantity, and then the revenue is 100, and then make the corresponding adjustment and take out what happens to the items which are not changed. Alternately, you could apply the successive increment formula. Successive increment formula you could have applied uh, by by remembering that price is gone down by 20%. So the formula could have been applied. Uh, let me just clean this up. Yeah. So it would have been applying the successive increment formula minus 20 plus b is equal to plus 28, which is a plus b plus. I'm sorry, a plus b plus ab by 100. Ab is uh, Minus 20 into b by 100 is equal to 28. Now applying this formula, you can solve it. Uh, okay. Uh, there is a third thing which could have been done, which we will do a little later, which will be essentially in the form of ratios. Or, or let's do it now. It is. Let's not waste too much time. Okay. Let me just clean the the thing, and so that I get some space. So we have here that price into quantity. Is equal to revenue. Uh, price in decreased by twenty percent, so price has become eight by ten times. Quantity change, I do not know, which is what I need to find. What happened to the revenue? Revenue has become one twenty eight percent, or has become twelve point eight, or one twenty eight by hundred times. Okay, the same game would have given you the answer. Interesting thing in this question would be. Most of the time, you will find there will be many questions which will say that the price and quantity size changes, the quantity change, changes, but the revenue does not change. So, if I say the revenue does not change, there is no change in the revenue. That means the price becomes two times the quantity should become half. If the price becomes three by two times the quantity should become two by three. This is if there is no change in the revenue because the revenue is constant. So, if A into B Is constant. Then, whatever happens to A, B should be the reciprocal of that. So, if A becomes seven by eight times, B should become eight by seven times. Okay. So, there is a third thing which you need to remember with respect to this question. Okay. 